G'day, in this short video we will show you how to use the Paint and Forget B790, the mixing, the application and how to figure out the amount of material you need for your pool. First off, make sure you remove all of the resin and place into a clean mixing bucket. This is vital as there is a fixed ratio between the resin and the hardener and if it's not correct, the paint will either over cure or under cure and you'll have a problem. So add all of the hardener. If you need less than a full pack, the ratio is four parts of A, the resin, to one part of B, the hardener, by volume. Mix well for three to four minutes to get a homogeneous mix. Do not entrain air and make sure that it is fully mixed before you put it into the tray. Any resin that's on the side of the mixing bucket above the tide line needs to be put into the product so it's well mixed also. Run a roll up and down the sticky side of masking tape to remove any fluff. Same for your brushes. Place in the roller tray. There is enough thinners in the product initially, but it slowly evaporates, so you may need to add some more, up to around about 5%. You need to maintain a uniform consistency, as you can see, something akin to pouring cream, and make sure the weather conditions are appropriate for your application. When you come to apply, work on an area of around about one square metre, wall or floors, and spread the product out. And in this case, as you can see on the screen, it's up, down, up, down, so that you start to move the material around and get it into a more uniform thickness. You don't want it too thick, or you don't want it too thin, as this will impact on its durability. Once you've done the first part, then at 90 degrees, it's important to roll left, right, left, right. This does not matter whether you're on the wall or the floor. It must be done. Otherwise, you have a non-uniform paint thickness. Once done, then it's important to lay off in one direction, meaning you bring the roller down the wall only lightly to lay the paint off in one direction, as you can see with the arrows. Do exactly the same on the floor, except you're pulling the roller towards you. In this case, we have a smooth surface. So you can see that we are using a film thickness gauge to make sure we've got the right film thickness. It should be 100 microns wet, as you can see with the green arrow. If you're using the side of the film gauge, you'll see it also cover the 90, 75 and so forth. It should not touch 125 or above. That's too thick. But you will need a little extra material on edges of steps because that gets knocked and abused and also on shallow areas and step treads. For step treads and ramps, you will need to have a non-slip finish most likely. This is automatically in your order and follow the directions on the container. Normally it's used in the first coat, but you then use the second coat to control the non-slip features. Figuring out how much paint you need is very important. In this pool, it's 102 square metres. It doesn't need any sealer or undercoat because it's a smooth surface. But do check the application notes to get the correct procedure, the correct products and the correct coverage rate for the pool you are working with. So for this pool, it's going to be two coats of V790, 50 square metres per pack per coat. And so one pack will do half of the pool. Make marks on the side of the pool so you know exactly how far each pack has to go. But note, coverage rates do vary depending on the surface that you are working with. Check your application procedures. As I mentioned before, high wear areas you should put on a little more material, particularly on step treads and below any steps or any beaches or any ramps. They may include the non-slip finish on the steep treads, step treads. So follow all the directions in the application notes, but any questions, please call us 0415 17 We're here to help.